right guys I'm here in the game um, this is uh, I just loaded uh, the character I beat the game with already uh, this is about 12 hours into the game I'm on board uh, the Normandy here which is the uh, it's like your personal little starship and right now I'm gonna show you the dialogue system in this game which is it was pretty uh revolutionary when it came out and it was it's pretty amazing so I'll just let you watch as you can see you have a little dialogue wheel here you uh, you just you know swivel your mouse around or if you're on the 360 the little analog stick and uh, you just pick a you know pick a dialogue option so I'm gonna pick uh, how'd you get your nickname Alright, so as you can see, you can, uh, when you pick one of these, uh, Shepard won't say exactly that. He'll say something along those lines, but it won't be exactly what you picked. So, if you pick, uh, like this question here, were you unhappy? Why didn't you ever smile? He asks, why didn't you ever smile? Facial animation is pretty good, I would say. Alright, so we're gonna exit out of the uh, dialogue wheel there. Um, let's see. Uh, I suppose I should talk about the story of the game. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil anything. But uh, I'm just going to say that the story is very well developed. Bioware, uh, if they're renowned for anything, it's their story story development within a game. It's uh, absolutely outstanding. Uh, and they just keep getting better and better with each game they, uh, each game they put out. Like, uh, this story is pretty good. Uh, but the second game, the story will, like, <laughs> it, like, blows your mind. Uh, I absolutely love the second game. Uh... But uh, I'll cover the second game in the uh, the next review that I'm going to do. Um, character development in this game is pretty good. Uh, each each main character that you come across has their own distinct personality. Uh, for example, Joker up there, he's the uh, pilot. He's kind of a you know a witty, funny kind of guy, voiced by Seth Green, by the way so you can't go wrong with that um, and then you've got uh, you've got another one of your uh, buddies he used to be your uh, captain your commanding officer he's not on he's not on the ship anymore but anyways uh, Captain Anderson voiced by Keith David uh, he's a very exceptional character uh, I suppose I should go show you some uh, aliens alien companions um, let's see <coughs> uh, I guess we'll have to go talk to Liara oh yes there's a uh, Dr. Chuck was uh, she's uh, she's she's not really a main NPC, but uh, she has a. Uh, I guess her character development's uh, all right. She's not huge into the story. Uh, you find out more about her in the second game, but uh, basically, uh, when you talk to somebody, you get the gist of who they are. Uh, they present themselves uh, very well. Take Liara here. She's not a very good people person, even though she's over a hundred years old. Uh, let's see. Uh, by the way, she's an Asari, so that's why it says Asari down here. So we're going to talk about uh, her culture. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first creatures to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice. 
I love the dialogue system in these games. So much better than the Nice Old Republic. Even though Nice the Old Republic came back out back in uh, 03, uh, still an excellent game. I still play it, even though it's you know seven years old. All right, so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go. Let's see. Um, that's basically uh, about it. Uh, the graphics are okay, I guess. I mean, uh, came out this game came out three years ago. Um, definitely not the best on the market right now. Uh, but you know, they're 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 all right, I guess. Um, animations are uh, okay. Uh, the dialogue animations are excellent, really top notch. Uh, but animations like running. Eh, they're all right, I guess. They get improved in the second game. Everything gets improved in the second game, but this is still a great game. This is worth uh, every penny. I mean, it's it's pretty cheap right now. I'd say it's. Uh, I got mine. Uh, I just recently got it uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, I originally played it for the 360 when it first came out, and then I uh, I decided I wanted to play it again, so I got it for PC. I got it on Steam for ten dollars, and this game takes you about thirty hours to beat. Uh, and that's if you don't even do all the side missions. I only did a, a handful of side missions. Uh, and it took me about 30 hours to play the whole game through, so it's worth every penny. Um, so yes, this is part two, and uh, the next part's going to be about combat. Uh, and then uh, we'll have a, the fourth and final part, which is the overview, and uh, I'm going to score the game. So, uh, 